Today, lawyer and author Mark Silverthorne is helping Canadians deal with their debts through his law firm, which provides comprehensive debt settlement services. In 2011, CBC Marketplace featured Mark in an episode titled Debt Collector Dread. What happens if you file for personal bankruptcy? Filing for personal bankruptcy is one option a consumer has for dealing with their debt situation. Under the Federal Bankruptcy and Insolvency Act, a Canadian may file for personal bankruptcy through a licensed bankruptcy trustee. Filing for personal bankruptcy should be considered a last resort for dealing with a person's debt situation. I review personal bankruptcy in my book, The Wolf at the Door, What to Do When Collection Agencies Come Calling, published by McClellan and Stewart. In a bankruptcy, you would surrender all your property to the bankruptcy trustee except for that property which is exempt under provincial or federal law. As a general rule, all of your unsecured debts are wiped out at the time you obtain your discharge from bankruptcy. A person cannot file for personal bankruptcy unless they are insolvent, which means that their total debts are more than their total assets and they cannot pay their financial obligations as they become due. Now, there are many people who cannot pay their bills, who are not insolvent because they have equity in their homes. And if they were to sell their homes, they could use the proceeds of the sale to pay some or all of their outstanding debts. For some people, filing for personal bankruptcy can be a practical and cost-effective way of getting a fresh start financially and wiping out their existing unsecured debt. Let's review the disadvantages of filing for personal bankruptcy and see why it really is a last resort. Number one, personal bankruptcy is not suitable for persons with significant assets, people who have equity in their homes or who own shares in their business. Number two, personal bankruptcy is not suitable for persons earning more than thirty or forty thousand dollars a year. Consumers whose annual incomes are more than thirty or forty thousand dollars are required to make surplus income payments and in the case of a first-time bankrupt that involves making surplus income payments for 21 months and the amounts that they would pay would be approximately fifty percent of everything the consumer earns above thirty five thousand dollars. Number three Personal bankruptcy may not be appropriate for some people whose employment or professional licensing requirements prohibits them from filing for bankruptcy. Number four, not all debts are discharged or wiped out when a person files for personal bankruptcy. Student loans are not discharged unless you ceased attending school more than seven years prior to filing for bankruptcy. Child support and spousal support obligations are not wiped out under a bankruptcy. Filing for personal bankruptcy only affects your unsecured debts and does not affect your secured debts. Number five, the fact that a person is, discharge, is a discharged bankrupt is a matter of permanent public record with the Office of the Superintendent of Bankruptcy and anyone upon paying a fee of about eight dollars can do a search with the superintendent's office and they can learn whether or not you have filed for personal bankruptcy. Number six, a person who files for personal bankruptcy is not entitled to have credit until such time that they obtain their discharge and this may be one, two or, or more years after they file for personal bankruptcy. Number seven, if you are filing for personal bankruptcy a second time, the bankruptcy will show up on your credit report for 14 years. If you are filing for personal bankruptcy for the first time and you earn more than thirty or forty thousand dollars a year, then your bankruptcy will appear on your credit report for approximately eight years. If you are filing for personal bankruptcy for the first time and your income is less than thirty or thirty five thousand dollars, then your bankruptcy will appear on your credit report for about seven years. If you are seriously considering filing for personal bankruptcy, then before you make a final decision, I recommend that you first read my book, The Wolf at the Door. I would also invite you to call and speak to a representative of my law firm to learn more about debt settlement 
and to see whether or not a enrolling in a debt settlement plan with my law firm might be appropriate for you. Thank you.